Hello and good evening. So today we're going to be creating a bunch of small islands and making people kill each other over them. Ever the eventful day. So, oh, this is actually kind of a cool world. I'm sad we're about to destroy it, but I don't feel that bad. So let's get rid of all of this and then we'll create maybe this size. All right, I'm going to try and do this as even as possible, but I know I'm also going to get lazy at some point. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Oh no, I messed it up. It's fine. Starting to get li too lazy to actually make it symmetrical. How many are in each row? Seven? <laughs> Dang, they just like gradually start leaning to the right. All right, how many is that? Need to clickbait my title, so I'm gonna figure out how many this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times seven is 56. Is that right? Eight times seven? Yeah, 56. Hey, I'm good at math. Go me. So let's plant some trees over here. Um, okay, that looks good. And then I think the outside is just gonna purely be trees. Then we'll have stone kind of on these ones. I wanna make it so the civilizations that gradually move more into the middle um, are kind of rewarded. Then next, I guess we'll do iron, iron on these islands. Oh, I realize I have to do food as well. And then the middle will be gold. Yeah, I think, I think that looks good. And you know what? I'll put some cats in the middle because I like cats. And I would certainly conquer the whole world just to pet a cat, honestly. Anyways, let's spawn some races. So we will, I'm going to pause this and we'll spawn humans, maybe top left. We'll spawn 100 on each. I totally wasn't paying attention and did 108. Whoops, that's fine. We'll spawn elves over here, which I apologize you OCD people because I didn't put them because I switched orcs and dwarves. I should have put dwarves over here. I really am sorry because it hurts me as well, you know? Okay, so it was 24, so 32. 4, 32, 33. The, the dwarves have an advantage. The dwarves win. It doesn't count because they had a one person advantage. All right, let's have them develop. So we got Satril, the dwarven city at Nokurg, um, over here at the bottom right. And you got Totad, the top right. I, I feel like I've seen that um, name before. I wonder if they just shuffle through like a bunch of random names. Actually, that's probably what they do. And then Apion, Ape because I know I spawned 108 at all of them, so I don't know why they're not at 108. I think I'm going to speed this up a little bit, and we'll let them expand. But I'm thinking when they start to expand more, I might gradually start getting rid of the outside islands until there's just, like, these three in the middle, or this little square here. Okay, humans are looking pretty good. They've really built up their civilization there. I mean, everybody's living in a house, even though there's probably, like, 20 people in each house. It's still a house, right? You gotta be thankful for what you got. Do they need stone for boats that doesn't make any sense but maybe they do okay i don't know what um is holding these guys back maybe they do need some stone or some iron i'll give them one stone one iron they have a boat thing boat yard <laughs> dock that's that's the word they have a dock okay so it must be iron i think they need iron to build that yeah okay i guess i have to give them iron and stone to everyone so they can build a boat Okay, does anyone actually have a boat though? Doesn't appear anyone, they all have docks, but they don't have, oh, elves don't have a dock. What are you guys even doing? Let's see your civilization. You got all the resources you need. Oh, what? They actually have like a monetary system? I've never realized that before. Maybe if I spawn some more people, they'll, oh. <laughs> Oops, I spawned, I spawned dwarves over there. Let's get everyone up to 200. Maybe that'll speed things up a little bit. And do we have one more? Yeah, we gotta spawn some more dwarves too, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll give them a little land bridge, I guess. But I really just wanted them to sail though. I don't know why they're not gonna sail. Why are they not sailing? Maybe I should just connect all the islands. They really don't wanna sail right now. So I'm just gonna connect all the islands for them. Oh, I guess I can just zoom out and do this. This is way easier. Yeah, the, see, these guys are smart. The orcs are smart because they're going for the island with the uh, iron in it. And it looks like the humans just established one on the uh, on the iron as well. They're being dum-dums and not going for the stone I so graciously provided for them. And they've cut down, like, all their trees over here, so I might actually give them some more, even though I don't really agree with what they're doing right now. Have some trees. All right, the dwarves are starting to move in. Uh, dwarves and humans are officially at war, which I don't think the dwarves actually have any kind of army right now, so... So I'm not sure why they declared war, <laughs> but they did. So we'll see how that goes. What does this even do? Inspect? Can I expect like specific guys and see what's going on? Does the same thing as clicking on them. Very cool. So you got Yuam <laughs> Kingdom. They're doing by far the best, I 
it looks like. They've got 284 people, um, huge army, four cities, and 215 land, I guess, and the most houses. So dwarves and elves are both just doing okay. It looks like they might be sending, yeah, they're starting to send some guys up here. The guy was up there looking at the gold. Seems like a lot of places are running pretty low on uh, trees, so. I think I'm just gonna throw some seeds around. Everyone is at war with the humans, but no one's at war with each other. Dang, they all just like ganged up on them. I feel like this is unfair. Guys, why are you all ganging up on the humans? And why don't you guys have any weapons? Kingdom Greensy Peg make peace with Yuam. Okay, so they're all friends now. That's good. Um, dwarves are still at war and elves are still at war with them. Orcs of all people. I mean, it literally, it says in their name that they don't like humans and yet are being friendly towards them. So I don't know how that works. I love how there's just a city called Dawn. On. <laughs> That's funny. Why are they losing so many guys? Oh, that the humans are attacking them. No, they're gonna take Dawn. I hope they capture it so it can stay Dawn. I think it stays the same name when they capture it. I'm, I'm trying to remember. The orcs actually just took the gold, one of the gold islands. It's funny, they skipped over this one and went straight to this one. <laughs> So we'll give them a little bit longer. Let's see what year we're in. So maybe we'll give them until year 100 or 300, I mean, and then we will have them fight each other to the death. So the orcs have all have a monopoly on all the gold right now. I think I'm going to make everyone friends for now, actually, just so they can establish some more kingdoms. Everybody is friends. Declared war. No, no, no. You're supposed to be make peace. All right. Here we are at year 300. I'm a little disappointed. I feel like they didn't really expand very much. There's like a ton of islands still kind of empty that are right there and have everything you need. But for some reason, they didn't expand to them. So, um, so let's cause some spite and make people kill each other. All right. They, they don't seem to be doing as much as I'd like them to be doing. So I think I'm going to actually shrink the world a little bit. Okay. So you got everyone swimming for sure. Hopefully they stay loyal to their kingdom when they land. What are you guys doing over here? Swim to shore. I'm going to try and get rid of all these little bridges on this side. <laughs> these poor guys. They're all stuck in the water while the uh, dwarves are just mowing them down with bows and arrows. Dang, we've lost a lot of population. We started at over 2,000 and it's dropping super fast. It's probably all this. I guess I drowned the preschool as well because there's a lot of kids over here. <laughs> I don't know what these guys are doing. Why are they swimming upwards? Where are they going? So, yeah, they're not friends with everyone, but... Everyone is friends with each other. I love ganging up on people. They were smart and actually got the gold. So honestly, I'd be okay with the orcs one because they actually did what I wanted them to do. They actually moved in. They got the iron. They got the gold. All these losers just stayed like on the outside. What is that? The elves? Oh, the elves are actually moving in right now. Though I don't know if it's going to be enough because orcs have quite the army. Oh yeah, look at this. The orcs are really rushing the elves right now. I don't think they're going to survive this. Let's get rid of the outside ones. Sorry, I just want you guys to kill each other. <laughs> oh, it's Dawn. Dawn survived. That's good. I love Dawn. And the orcs are moving up on the elves here. Okay, okay. They're they're holding their ground a little bit. Okay, the, the elves are really rushing the orcs right now. Hopefully they'll be able to kind of pull it off. See what the population is at. Oh, the population is only at 600 now. Okay, it's really coming down to it. I'm gonna just say it. I don't mean to call things early, but I think the orcs are gonna win. They have the most army, they've got the most land, and I think they just wiped off the humans from living. I'm really tempted just to blow Dawn off the face of the earth, but I probably shouldn't, because I always say I'm not gonna get involved, but then I always get involved. Perhaps we'll kill them in a nice way by having a bunch of a crabs attack them. Like, that's not the worst way to go. You think crabs could kill a man if they just pinched him to death? Well, bless the crabs. Though I think I blessed all these children over here as well. So the rat crabs are all killing each other. Kill the citizens of Dawn. They're populating at the exact rate that the crabs are killing them. Okay, who's going to kill this bow lady, though? Oh, we're at four. Okay, they're slowly wiping them out. And there's a few orcs here just joined to the fun as well, which is not very nice of them. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay, the crabs are all gone. You guys have an army. You have people with swords and shields, and yet you send in people to just to go punch punch people to death. Okay, one population. There they go. Okay. Dawn has officially been wiped off the face of the earth and the orcs are victorious. Usually I would take this time to destroy them right before we end, but you know what? I kind of like the orcs. They, uh, they're a bunch of go-getters. They didn't give up. They went and got the gold and got the iron like any person with a brain would do and they won fair and square so um i won't destroy them i might spawn a single dragon because i know they can take it thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow or the next day or one of these days